What is up fellow thunkers? Darren here from xtutorials.io with another Thunkable X tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at using the photo library component. The photo library allows you to upload a photo already taken on your phone and you can upload that photo into Thunkable and then use it, store it, do whatever you want with it. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, add the photo library um, to your app and how you can actually upload photos and this is what it will look like. So we'll have a button that we can press and then when we press that it's going to open up um, some different picture options for us and so I can grab a selfie that I used in the last tutorial um, and upload that into the app. So yeah, that's what we're going to do in today's video. All right, so here we have a blank project and uh, we're going to kind of add the components we'll need. We'll head over to the blocks, block it out, and then come back and design it and make sure things are working. So at the top of my screen, I had a label. Below that, I had an image. And then below that, I had a button. And then for the non-visible components that we'll be, we'll be using, we'll need that photo library component um, that I just talked about. And we don't need the camera for this tutorial, so I will delete that. In our blocks, we can go to the button and select the click event block. And when the button is clicked, well, what do we wanna do? Well, like I said, it showed you before, when it clicked, it opened up the photo library. So that's the next thing that's going to happen. We're going to call this function uh, that is called select photo from the photo library. And what this does, similar to the camera component, is returns uh, three things. It's either going to return a photo, it's going to return that the user canceled, um, or it's going to return that there is an error. So um, if the user canceled, we don't want to do anything. If there's an error, we don't want to do anything. We only want to do something if both of these are false, then we want to update this photo. So there's a, there's a check that we want to do there. And anytime we want to check something, we need to add some logic blocks and some if statements. So I'm going to go ahead and add this if statement in here and a logic block of and. So here, I only want to update the photo if the user did not cancel, so not did user cancel, user did not cancel, and if there's not an error. So if there is an error, or if the user did cancel, it's not gonna do anything. If it passes that test, then we can actually update the image to the photo that is returned. And that is the basics of the blocks we'll need to actually upload a photo from our photo library. Let's go back and design this out a little bit. And we'll label this upload a photo font size of 30. For our image, we're just gonna adjust the height and the width to 300 and 200 respectively. And then for the button, let's go ahead and say, add a photo. For the text color, I like it to be white. For the background color, I like blue. And then for font size, we can do 30. And the last piece is to space this, space these components out a little bit. And so a simple trick for doing that is to go to the component that they are in and adjust the vertical alignment instead of center. So everything's forced center, we can use space around and that will add some space and try to evenly space all the components uh, throughout the screen. So let's go ahead and check this out in the Thunkable Live test app and see how this is looking. So here we are with our label and our button and there is no image because we have not added one yet. If I go to add a photo, I can pick out my picture and boom, there it is inside of the app. And so that is how you upload a photo from your phone's photo library into your Thunkable app. And you know, one of the cool things that, that I like to do with these apps these days is all these apps that I have created on my YouTube channel, uh, I get questions all the time. People ask me uh, if they can get the app so they can actually remix them, copy them into their account and actually start playing around with them. And so what I did was to 
hopefully make this easier for you, but it's definitely easier for me, is I post all of these apps um, on uh, in a central location. So all of my apps are in a central location and I call it the Remix Vault. And so you can create an account there. It's through my web, my website and you get access to, to all of my apps, to all the like the series, the maze game, the Firebase, the Brewbase, to all of these kind of like more simple um, type apps that I create through videos just like this one. So if you want to see a more complex example of actually uploading photos, I would definitely encourage you follow the link that's in the description, go create your Remix Vault account, and then look for the app called All About Images. And there you'll see a bunch of different examples and it's going to grow over the next a few weeks uh, as I add more things to that app. So go check out the Remix Vault, the All About Images app. And that is all for today's video. Happy coding.